I just love to compete. You gotta put in the work and that's kind of my philosophy. The drive to get to the biggest stage was always there, but creating the path was the hardest part. Paul was a late bloomer because he was so young. You look up after like two hours, three hours, and you shot like 700 shots. Paul Stoll graduated from East Lansing High School at 17. He went on to play at Lansing Community College for two years. And I still had, you know, NAIA, D2s, D3s looking at me. But in the back of my mind, I thought, like, I can still play Division I. I can do it. But he didn't have any Division I offers. Stoll hit a crossroads. He knew what he wanted, so he took a leap of faith, taking a year off just to work out every day. Through that year of taking off, did, was there doubt, like, my basketball career could be over? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. Um, it's hard. A hope and a dream, like, all right, if you keep working hard, it's going to work out. So, yeah, I mean, there's days where... You're like, is this worth it anymore? Like, I should just be done. Paul's family was behind him and pushed him to chase his dream. He worked out with his dad every day. Two more. Who's a former Michigan State basketball player himself until the opportunity came. When he got to Texas Pan American, he, he really had a coach that uh, uh, he believed in him and uh, they really meshed together. He really brought out a lot in Paul as a player and then after that, he became a very, very good player. Blossoming in college basketball, the NBA was the goal. Stoll never got that chance, but played exhibition games against NBA teams, averaging 17 points. Does that bug you at all? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it does, but at the same time, I mean, I could have been done playing after two years junior college. So you got to put it in perspective, you know? It still drives me, you know, to this day where it's like, you know, that's one thing I didn't get. But that's never stopped him. Now at 37, Stoll's entering his 16th year of playing professional basketball and 13th year of playing for Mexico's national team. I don't think anybody can really take any credit for, for what Paul's done um, except himself. He's, he's a self-made player. He's, when other guys are doing other things, he's working and uh, he's a relentless worker. He's gearing up for the 2023 FIBA World Cup in August, still training and working out every day, doing exactly what got him to this point. Reporting in Lansing, Thomas Cook, Fox 47 Sports.